We have the very latest with Zeta as it moves over the Gulf of Mexico, heading straight towards Louisiana, and then it will move quickly over North Georgia. It is still a tropical storm, but it is expected to intensify to a Category 1 hurricane as it makes landfall tomorrow evening over the Louisiana coast. It will weaken as it moves towards North Georgia, but because it's moving so quickly, it will still have very strong winds, and tropical storm force winds are expected in in North Georgia Thursday morning, especially between 5 a.m. and 10 a.m. Because of that, a tropical storm watch in effect through 11 Thursday morning, and it's these areas in pink where we will see the strongest winds, possibly tropical storm force winds. We will see very heavy rain as well. So areas north and west of I-85 will be the most affected and impacted from this storm already seeing some of the outer bands move through south and middle Georgia. Believe it or not, these are the outer bands of Zeta already starting to move north towards our area. We'll continue to see off and on showers overnight through tomorrow, but we're going to see a lot of breaks tomorrow. It's not going to be a rainy day throughout the entire day, but we will see these waves of rain throughout the day but it will not be the tropical storm rain or at least force winds with the heavy downpours on Wednesday that doesn't move in until Thursday morning. So although you will need your umbrellas and your rain gear tomorrow, you'll really need it on Thursday. Thursday morning, that's when we have the high risk of heavy rain, high risk of strong tropical storm force winds, and even a low risk of an isolated weak spin up tornado. You may remember all the tornadoes we had when Delta moved through just a couple of weeks ago. The these tropical systems have a lot of rotation associated with them, so we could see one or two isolated tornadoes as well. Although as of now, it does look like the biggest risk of tornadoes will be over middle Georgia. For us here in North Georgia, it's going to be the rain and the winds. The heaviest rain moves through after 4 a.m. Notice that heavy rain mainly north and west of I-85, and this is a fast moving storm, thankfully, because with heavy rain like this, you want it to move in and move out quickly. By 7 o'clock in the morning, those heavy downpours right over Atlanta, then moving out of North Georgia after about 10 o'clock. So from about 5 a.m. to 10 a.m., that's when we will see the heaviest rain making its way through North Georgia. By the lunch hour, that rain moves out and we will see quick clearing. And just as quickly as that rain moves in, the strong winds move in as well. As you head to bed Wednesday night, we'll see wind gusts of 20 to 25 miles an hour. But by the time you wake up Thursday morning, if your alarm doesn't wake you up, it may be the winds. Wind gusts of 44 miles an hour in Atlanta at 6 a.m. 49 mile an hour wind gusts in Blairsville at 6 a.m. By 9 o'clock in the morning, 30 to 40 mile an hour wind gusts continue. Then again, by the lunch hour, we'll start to see those winds diminish. Still a little breezy in the afternoon, but not nearly as windy. Rainfall totals will be highest in the North Georgia mountains, three to four inches in some isolated locations, but for the most part, one to two inches or less expected. This is very dependent on Zeta's exact path. If it takes a path a little more to the west, that's where the heavier rain will be. But if Zeta moves a little further to the east or south, that is where the heavier rain will be. But as of now, it does look like those highest rainfall totals will be in the North Georgia mountains and the far North Georgia suburbs. We are under a flash flood watch. It's been very wet October thus far. It's been very wet this year in 2020. We're almost 20 inches above average rainfall wise for the year. So the creeks, the rivers, the streams, they're already very high. The soil is already saturated. So additional two, three inches of rain could cause some flash flooding. So a flash flood watch is in effect Wednesday and Thursday. So we have a lot to talk about. We have the rain. We have the winds. We have the isolated tornadoes as well, and it's all because of Zeta. Again, Thursday morning between about 5 a.m. and 10 a.m., that is when we are at the biggest risk for those strong damaging winds and those heavy downpours. I do think we will see power outages and trees down, just a matter of which trees come down and who gets the power outages. But if you can hold off your Thursday until after 11 a.m., that is the best bet. I know kids have school, those going to school, maybe riding the bus. If you can delay that, that isn't going to be in your best interest. Again, we're talking about 40 to 50 mile an hour wind gusts and very heavy rain Thursday morning between 5 and 10 a.m. We are going to be in storm mode tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday as Zeta approaches. So stay with CBS 46 around the clock for continuous Zeta updates.